Alrighty, so now we're actually going to install the RAM. Before we get started, like kind of just find a grounded item like a pole or something metal and touch that to get rid of all the static on your hands because that's not too good when you're working with the internals of computers. So switch to the bottom of your unibody MacBook or MacBook Pro and pull the tab. You'll then be able to remove the cover, place that off to the side. Um, now you need to keep this screw up or this latch up because if you don't the battery will not release. So you do need to keep the latch up and then you may pull your battery out from its compartment. Place that off to the side as well. And now you're going to see eight uh, individual s screws. There's one here, 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 and here. Now we're gonna start doing and uninstalling them. There's five short ones. Well, four medium sized one, one short one up here, and three long ones right there. So let's get going. Okay, so now that we've removed all the screws, we now need to take off this cover. And uh, it should come off pretty easily here. There we go. Okay, so once that comes off, place that off to the side. You may notice that the inside of your computer is really dusty or hairy or whatever. You can actually clean it with WD-40 or another electronic safe air blower cleaner. Okay, so now that we've completely opened our MacBook, we are ready to reinstall the new RAM. Now, if you look right here, this is your RAM bay, and this is where it is stored. Um, you will note, once this gets focused, that right here and right here, there are two plastic tabs. You will need to be able to use and navigate through these tabs. If you can't get them with your thumbs, I can. You may want to use the screwdriver you opened at your MacBook casing with. So you're going to take those and pull them directly away from you, and you'll notice that the first stick of RAM will come up to about a 30 degree angle. Do not pull this way, pull directly out and it'll come out very nicely and easily for you. Note the orientation of the RAM. There is a slot right here and you will not be able to put in the new RAM unless you put it the correct way. So there's one. Before we put in the new RAM, we do need to take out the second stick. So you're going to place these out again and you'll notice that the second stick of RAM will pop up to about the same 30 degree angle. Um, this one's a little bit trickier to remove, but fear not, it can be done. You're just gonna place that, peel it out there, and there's the second stick. Now, putting in the new RAM is a little bit trickier and it takes the same process though, so you are going to need to orient it to the right direction with the slot on the left. For my 2008 Unibody MacBook, yours may be different and you're going to place it into the bottom tray. You will note, and it's pretty easy to see where it needs to go, and you're gonna put it in at that same 30-ish degree angle that it came out at. It's okay to wiggle it in as long as you know it's in the right place because you will need to fit it to these little indents in the stick because that is where they are held into place. So if they're not to where that is, it won't situate and it will not register with a CPU. So you're going to need to take those same plastic tabs you had at first, and you are going to Press the RAM down. Uh, mine's a little bit loose still, so I'm going to try and push it in a little bit more. And then you're able to press that all the way down and it will go into place. Okay. We're now going to take the second stick. Same process. We're going to stick it in at the 30-ish degree angle. Once it is in, you'll need to push it down, open the tabs a tiny bit, but not too much or else you'll unhook the second or the first stick you put in the bottom stick and it will go into place there and then it'll be held you'll hear it snap and you're ready to go so now we need to put the casing back on and uh, this is pretty easy we'll watch it if you so choose and uh, let's put it back on so we're going to take this top part resituate it make sure it's free of anything else that's been it's been in contact with you're going to place it down and it should fall right into place. We're now going to take the screws and place them in one at a time.
Okay, so we've gotten the back casing back in place. Now we need to put the battery back. Remember, make sure that this tab is up and then you should be able to lay your battery into it just fine. And then you can close that. Actually, you can't, sorry about that. You're going to need to take your lid, place it over where it should be, and then push down and it'll fall into place. Now we need to turn the MacBook over and power it on to see if the RAM did in fact register. RAM is a little bit finicky and if you don't get it situated just right, your computer will not recognize it. So we are going to see if we can get it to work here. Yeah. And on the splash screen, it will display to you how many gigabytes of RAM you have. So it does say four gigabytes DDR3 SD RAMs. All right, so this is a fresh boot with four gigs of RAM now. We're going to open Chrome and go to Firefox. Or excuse me, we're going to open Chrome and go to Engadget. See how quickly it loads. On your marks, get set, go. So open significantly quicker, 6.3, and Engadget took a little bit longer to load, um, but still pretty dang fast. It was like 10 on before, and let's see with the screenshot here, open with Adobe Illustrator, on your marks, get set, go. Six point eight seconds. That was about four times faster. Uh, that was quite a bit better. Um, now we are going to try opening Shutter Island in VLC. On your marks, get set, go. Oh. Okay. So now we are going to try to open VLC player and uh, play Shutter Island, and we can start that. On your marks, get set, go. 1.6 seconds. So as you can see, everything is a little bit faster. Um, all in all, I think it was a worthy investment. It'll help when I'm doing like CPU and graphic intensive stuff. And when I'm dual booting parallels, that'll be significantly better because that was was killing me. Like I had the CPU to do it, but the memory was just shot, so. Uh, all in all, I think it was a good purchase. Max Sales or Other World Computing did a great job, and uh, I highly recommend you check them out. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later.